Hi, I'm Dr. Lena Opfermann. I'm a senior lecturer in applied social studies and I'm the course coordinator of the Masters in International Social Welfare and Social Development. So this course is a really excellent opportunity for people who already work as practitioners, like for social workers for example, who would like to give their career a global perspective. It's also a really good opportunity for recent undergraduate graduates who would like to um, work on social issues and on making a difference in people's lives. So we're both interested in people who already come with a practical work experience and also in recent um, graduates who would like to continue their studies. The course focuses on social issues with an international dimension and includes a range of topics such as humanitarian aid. So for instance, how do we respond when there's an earthquake or a civil war? What can we do to provide support to, to affected populations and how can we do that in an ethical way? Um, it also focuses on human rights, um, international social welfare, um, forced migration, so who is a, a forced migrant, who is a refugee, for example, and what legal frameworks exist um, to cater for those populations. There's a new optional unit on social enterprise, which is interesting for people who would like to maybe create their own charity or who already have their own NGO and would like to professionalize the way they, they engage in that kind of work. Another really important component of the Masters is a focus on intercultural competence. So what are the skills that are needed in order to work effectively with people who come from diverse cultural backgrounds, be it within the UK or abroad or within the students' home countries. So really looking at the skills, the practical skills that are needed to ethically engage with people from a range of different backgrounds. The course equips graduates to work um, with communities from various cultural backgrounds and our graduates traditionally go on to work in fields like um, international social welfare, humanitarian aid, human rights. They end up working with NGOs, both local or international, as well as with government authorities, again in, in their home countries or here in the UK. Um, People might also go on to work with the United Nations and decide or decide to do um, further studies through a PhD program or a professional doctorate. And currently several of our alumni are actually engaged in a PhD program, either here with us or at other universities. So yeah, we regularly invite guest speakers from either within our school or within um, the university, but from other faculties to bring in their particular expertise and teach on our units. But we also invite external speakers and practitioners to share their knowledge and experience from working within the international social welfare field. And sometimes people also come from abroad or join in via, um, I mean, digitally to, to share their experience with us from across the world. So throughout the course, in addition to the normal classes, students have lots of opportunities to get involved in other activities that can help them increase their employability um, after graduating. And the university provides a lot of support in that regard and offers opportunities for students to engage, for example, in volunteering, in local charities or NGOs and the university also has a legal aid clinic where some of the master's students get to volunteer and help put together fa refugee family reunification applications if someone has that particular interest for example. We also created an employability um, workshop series specifically targeted at this master's so that students um, receive workshops um, run by experts who teach them about writing a CV and becoming competitive within this particular job market, um, how to do an interview and things like that. Mm -hmm.